guys, welcome back to Single Girl Budgets. My name is Jessica and today we are going to be setting some goals for November and tracking some spending because I am so far behind and I'm kind of afraid because I'm going to set the goals, then track the spending Ugh, and who knows what that's going to, what that's going to end up as. So let me flip to October. So you guys, we had some goals in October and they were our food under 300. We all know that didn't happen. Shopping under 400, that did not happen. Miscellaneous spending, that was good. And then tracking all the spending, yeah. So I ended the month with food at just under 500 and shopping at 757. Whew, not what I wanted. But, you know, it is what it is. So, this is a calendar. If you watched my uh, my November setup, this is a calendar that I printed from Scattered Squirrel. Clearly, I punched the wrong side of the page. But, you know, it happens. So, I'm going to set this off to the side. And we are going to set some goals. So, do I want to do the goals on the front? This is all the, like, card stock I had, you guys, so I just ran with some pink polka dots. <clears throat> Excuse me, I feel like I have something in my throat. I think I am going to go ahead and just do it on the front. I want to see it. And I'm going to use one of my um, Paper Mate flares. So let's do, like, a navy. I think a navy would look good, and you would be able to see it. So I'm just going to real quick, no, them, burr, spend, ing. Okay, so goal number one is going to be, I think I'm going to do, so last time I did food under 300, we were at about 500, so I'm going to do 400. I'm going to kind of split the difference. And I know this is going to be really hard to see, but I can see it, and that's kind of all that matters. So food under 400, even though I don't know how to spell under. Two, spending. Now, see, spending is going to be interesting because it is that time of year it is Christmas time. I've already started, well, it's not Christmas time yet, but we're at that point of time. And I've already started buying some Christmas gifts. So do I want to separate them? Oof. What did I, what did we just say that I did last time, you guys? My mind. I'm pretty sure I've lost it. So I said shopping down under 400. We were at 750. So I'm going to go with... Shopping under, I'm going to go with under 600 and mainly because of holidays. I really want to get that number down. Like that number is so high and unnecessary. And then for three, I am going to do track all expenses because again, I don't know why, but it's so hard for me to remember that. I may need, like, I love my cash, but I might be better off using a card so that I can track that stuff. But, I don't know. So I went ahead and pulled, oh, we got pens flying everywhere. I pulled all of my pens. I'm actually going to open my planner up to October because I like to use the same same colors because otherwise it's going to throw me off and then just right up here i'm gonna do my key so gas this is gonna be food because if i go and change it i'm gonna be so confused you guys alcohol ooh, which i think i went the other day they didn't give me a receipt and I didn't think to ask for one. Hmm. Whatevs. We'll, we'll figure it out, right? This is going to be shopping. And if you guys can hear the TV in the back, I apologize. 
the dogs and I are hooked on Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares right now. So we're just watching it all. Like, you can't go wrong. He's probably my favorite celebrity ever. Auto prey. Auto. Oh my gosh. Where's my whiteout? I cannot write today. What is wrong with me? I need to get my life together. Like, this is obnoxious. And then we have, of course, miscellaneous. Okay. So, I have all of my credit card transactions already written down. So, we're just going to go ahead and put those in. And then we'll go through some receipts, which they may overlap. And then I'll go through my wallet, which also has more receipts, which also may overlap. So... Subscriptions and auto pay. First off on the third is going to be Hulu. I did upgrade my Hulu actually. I upgraded it twice. <laughs> so I upgraded it to commercial free and then I upgraded it to Hulu Live because my neighbor and I actually split our internet and like TV streaming services and we wanted to try Hulu Live. And since I have it, I went ahead and upgraded Hulu. And so basically what I'm paying her each month will go down to like, uh, what's the word? Like even that out, I guess. Also on the third, I went to Walmart and did some grocery shopping. And unfortunately bought a lot of just shit like I feel like it is gone already, and I spent $144. Now, knowing me in Walmart, I probably spent more, like, I probably bought more. Oh, I did. I'm, wow. You guys, I am, like, on a roll today. Um, I did not just buy food. I also bought new bedding and some other, like, personal care items, so... I'm gonna list under food. I know that that's not the legit, like, perfect tracking thing, but it's still gonna be counted. Also, my dog food shipped from Tractor Supply. It just saves me from picking it up. And that was $82, so the diesel will be fed for another month. I did a little bit of shopping. Uh, my friend and I went to Torrid, all of their which I think I have a receipt for probably in this pile over here, but you know. Uh, all of their clearance is was buy one, get two free. So of course, I got three items. We also, because I'm a good friend, my friend wanted to get his ear pierced. So I went with him, I ended up getting mine done. And that was $58, unfortunately not cheap. And then we did go to a jewelry place because I wanted to switch some jewelry out, as did he. And I don't even know how this happened, you guys. It ended up being $61. Like, I picked some damn expensive jewelry, apparently, because, whew, yeah. I did have to go get gas on Wednesday the 6th. I know this is about a week behind, so I'm just going to put Sam's because we know that's where I always get my gas. That was $25. I also went ahead and placed an order on Bath & Body, which I feel like this might have been prior, but it didn't post until this day. Uh, they had candles on sale, so of course, your girl got a whole bunch. All right, page number two. Here we go. On the ninth, I did some more shopping because, you know, tis the season. This was from Lane Bryant. They had a great sale. And I spent $47. On the 11th, I got my nails done, which I've got to stop, you guys. This shit's too expensive. But they're just so pretty, and I love them. Like, oh, this is not Lane Bryant. This is my nails. But, like, I know that getting your nails done, not that important of an ordeal, but 
They're just so pretty. Maybe I need to do something cheaper and just do like a manicure because that's like $90 for the dip and the designs and the tip and you know. I also just placed an order on Amazon. This is the 12th, so I'm going through the 12th. Amazon, I can't spell. It was $41. I needed some light bulbs because of course my house takes weird ones. And then I also got some um, like cleaning wipes. They were a little cheaper to order them on Amazon than going to the store. And I got some um, cleaner for my Bissell Crosswave because I love my Crosswave. And I know I could just use whatever, but meh. All right, so I've got this lovely pile of receipts. Some of them I can already tell are already marked down. So this one is already good. This one, already good. This one, already good. This one, already good. So it leaves me two receipts in this pile and both of which are food, you guys. So on the first, I got Chick-fil-A. Oh, and I think, yep. So me and my friend went and I did buy his dinner because my dog is a jerk and ate all of his food that he brought over. That was 19. So we can get rid of that. <coughs> Excuse me. A little, little sip here. Much better. And then on the fourth, I did order pizza because there was like a coupon and I spent 19. Oh, I about to have, like, I was about to have a moment, and I was like, wow, the pizza itself was 18? And I only spent 19? No, there was a sale. It was half off. Duh. Okay, let's pull out the wallet, you guys, because, whew, okay. I'm just going to grab and pull. I know there is at least one receipt that I need, because I am going to be doing a return, but for now... This is it. Okay, this isn't bad. This is like four receipts. And this one, already marked down. This is, oh, okay, there's like four more. Okay, so I did run to the grocery store the other night after work because I needed like some quick food because I have lots of food in my house. I just have nothing quick. And so I wasn't prepared. That was my completely my fault. But I spent 17 and I just bought like a bag salad, some pre-cooked chicken, um, some like snacky thing, you know, just like that kind of stuff. And then I did get pizza again because I have a problem. And that was on the 10th because again, there was a huge sale and why not? And I spent 32 because I had some friends over so we need a pizza for everyone. And then the last is going to be, well, the second to last. So this is going to be some shopping. This was on the 7th. And I went to Dollar Tree. And what did I buy? Let's see here. Bell, snowflake, bulb. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I went for new kitchen shears and a mug. I was on the hunt. I made all of my family, I made them like mugs with candles in them. And I needed a mug for my brother-in-law. And I had gone to Salvation Army and Goodwill, could not find anything. So I ended up going to Dollar Tree, they had one. I also needed new kitchen shears. And then of course, while I was there, Let's see, I bought some three sets of ornament, like Christmas ornaments, a bulb, because I wanted to see if it worked in my bathroom, which it does, some candy bars, <laughs> yeah, so that was 14, because that place like draws you in. <clears throat> and then the last receipt that I have is for Joann's, because I did buy a new planner, 
and some um, candle wax, like fragrance, because I made the candles for everybody. I need to keep this because I am going to return the planner. It's just not going to work for what I thought. So I'm actually not going to record this, you guys. And I know you're all like, but Jessica, you spent the money. I did spend the money, but I'm just not going to do it. I'm going to grab alcohol and drive through because on the 11th, I did go to the liquor store and I spent about 40 yeah, it was $40 by the time I was done because I got whiskey and soda and some crown, which I guess technically some people classify as whiskey. So, we're going to put that there. And then I'm trying to think because I feel like I did, oh, I did buy lunch on this day because one of the women I work with, she was going to Subway. It sounded really good. I know I shouldn't have done it, but I think it ended up being like um, maybe $8. I'm going to go with $8 because that seems about right. And I think that's it. That's it. So, so far, you guys, we are. I'm, I feel like I'm not doing that bad. I really need to just watch the shopping. And watch the food like and I know like I can tell you based off of the week ahead I know that probably not gonna buy anything probably not gonna buy anything because these two days I work I already have my lunch figured out for this day on the 14th we are having a chili cook-off at work so I'm taking stuff in that I already have so that I can make chili and I can try everybody else's this is where my problem is gonna lie because I am off this this weekend so I'm going to spend all kinds of money, but I am going to grab my no spend stickers out of my binder here. I'm going to go ahead and I think we're just going to, we're going to just start at the top here. So what do I have? I have two. Okay. Well, we don't want to do the same ones here. Let's find, there we go. Okay. So Tuesday the 5th, no spend. Saturday the 2nd, no spend. I'd like to see about 10 more of those, but you know, doubt that's going to happen, but we're going to try. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, click subscribe so that you become part of this little fam that we got going on in this little corner of the internet. Hit the bell so you don't miss a single upload because I need your guys' help. I need your help to get through November. Comment down below and let me know what your best non-money spending tips are because I'm a spender. I know I am and I'm trying to get better. I'm hoping that by seeing how much I'm spending, that will help. But if you are a spender and you have been able to change your ways, I want to know how. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your ways and I will see you all next time. Bye.